Hello, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another quick video. Before we get started, the first major video of our channel is coming real soon. That would be covering the Galaxy Unpacked event that's happening today. So make sure you are subscribed for that. Also, we are working on a project in making a video about coronavirus and how it's affecting the tech in 2020. To enjoy those upcoming videos, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Now let's focus on the current video. When you are buying a MacBook, you are usually stuck in deciding whether to go for the high limit memory or to go for more storage. This might not be a problem for people who do not have any budget limitation, but for those people who have a specified budget, this could be a real decision because each upgrade costs $200. If you are limited by your budget to decide between only one of them, then that might be a problem. So usually if you are on the developer side or if you need more RAM, usually that is what people prefer because you can then buy an external SSD to take care of your storage problems. However, when you are using your Mac, there might be a lot of your storage covered up by your system and other storage and you might need some of it back. This might also make you think whether you have made the right decision or no in deciding to go for more RAM instead of more storage. The good news is you did not make the wrong decision. In this video, I'll try to explain how to get some of this storage back. In fact, a lot of it back. There are two ways to get this storage back. The first method is using Clean My Mac. This is a very simple to use application. Unfortunately, it is not free. You need to purchase its license for about $35. Let's make one thing clear. This is not a sponsored video, but this is one application that I have personally used and I love using it because it helps me get a lot of space recovered on my Mac. Once you have installed this application, you will see it's very beautifully designed interface. You simply click on scan. It would scan your Mac and look for cache and other files which you no longer need, but are there covering your storage. So you can use this app to get a lot of storage back. Currently, as you can see that it is showing me that I can get about four GBs of storage back. Yeah, so you see I have about 4 GBs of storage, so when I run, I get this space cleared. Clean My Mac is an application that runs in the background and takes care of stuff automatically. It is a very easy and good application to use and keeps your storage cleared for you. This is something developer specific. So probably the developers out there who are using their Mac for development, especially for iOS development, might take more benefit from it. But nevertheless, let's talk about it. One of the applications that take most of the space on your Mac is Xcode. So now I'm going to show you how to get a lot of space cleared up. Open up your Xcode. In your Xcode, go to Preferences. In the Preferences, go to this Locations tab. Then click here on the Derived Data. You can get this path as well. And you can go to this path via Finder as well. But let's click on this arrow and it would take you directly to this repository. Now. We are here at the repository. Let's see how much space derived data is covering at the moment. At the moment, it's about 1 GB. Now, you can go on, select everything and delete it. You are not done yet. There's one more thing that you need to do. Go back, go to archives, select all, delete everything. Now, close this and close Xcode as well. Just clear your trash and you're good to go. Depending on your use case, you may need to do it more or less frequently, but I usually do it after a couple of weeks. I hope it helped you in some way. If it did, do give it a thumbs up and comment on the video. Make sure you are subscribed for the new amazing videos coming up. Until the next one, take care.